the internet. Hello. So last night, when I got home from work, I made this video. The uh, exposing of, that's Brad. Now, I did expect it to cause a bit of a stir because opinions are very conflicted against uh, against that's Brad. Um, uh, I got a lot of messages saying, well done, it's about time somebody did it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then I got some messages <laughs> calling me naughty names, which I expected. Uh, and obviously on the video itself, um, uh, I do believe that Brad posted it on his own Facebook page. Thank you for that. Um, so I got a lot of a lot of his fans um, messaging, uh, leaving comments, uh, being negative towards me. Anyway, it was all a bit of fun last night. Um, yeah, it, it, so it was all a bit of drama. Um, things were happening, which were mildly amusing uh, for the for the evening, um, until it got to a point where I noticed a couple of messages. Now, I'm not saying anything here in this video that isn't already public knowledge, so it's not like I'm being insensitive towards uh, any certain subject or any person, but. I saw somebody comment, and I didn't really understand the comment uh, because, well, I didn't know anything about it, but somebody's making fun out of uh, That's Brad for um, attempting suicide, apparently. Again, I didn't really understand that comment, and I ignored that comment. Uh, but then somebody else, one of his friends or f uh, fans, uh, mentioned... Um, that he suffered with depression. So, Brad had tried to contact me, and me and Brad have, have had conversations before. It, it, this isn't some, like, this isn't Tupac and Big Ear or anything, you know what I mean? This is like, this is like Noel Gallagher and Liam Gallagher, I, 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 I'd say. Um, just a little fallout. It's not even a fallout, really. We've not actually fallen out. I just think he's bullshitting a little bit. <laughs> anyway, right, so, anyway, so Brad had tried to message me uh, last night and I just ignored him because um, I think he's a silly sausage. <clears throat> but then when I saw the suicide things, I thought to myself, right, okay, so, I'm making fun of a guy that uh, comes across as being quite cocky, very, very arrogant. Man, this guy loves himself with his sunglasses and his streaks in his hair and strolling around the canal saying, oh, look at them people looking at me and all that kind of thing. Right, so this guy comes across really confident. But it turns out potentially that that's just a front. And I understand that. Uh, I understand that all too well, that that's just a front. And uh, actually behind the, behind the fake Ray-Bans <laughs> is, um, somebody who suffers. Now, he could quite easily be bullshitting about this as well, but I'm not suggesting that he is, but he could quite easily be. I don't know whether to believe him or not. He could just be telling me this stuff um, to get me to delete the video. So this is where I was a bit stuck. Anyway, I spoke to, uh, to Brad, Brad last night, and uh, yeah, uh, Settled a few things. Had a few things. Uh, had a few conversations about some of his videos, and he did, you know, tell me a few things that interested me about his videos. I'm not going to go into that, but it, you know, he was he was he was honest about some things. And then we, we were talking about the mental health thing, and 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 uh, you know, whether he's genuine or not. Um, I made a video for a, a joke and a laugh. Um about somebody on YouTube. Now, I want everybody to understand that that's two different things. There's, there's, there's the, the um, arrogant bloke on YouTube that fakes videos, or apparently fakes videos, 
And then there is Brad at home um, with his kids who goes to his job or does whatever he does in day and day day to day life. Um, I was making fun of this guy, not this guy. I don't know this guy, but I know this guy. So I think that when you put yourself out on the internet, you open yourself up to a certain amount of um, criticism. Now, I obviously got a lot of messages last night from his fans calling me nasty names, and again, it, it, that I, I take that as aimed at the 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 internet persona, I guess. I'm not taking that personally. I don't care about that kind of thing, and somebody can call me a dickhead all they want, and I'm, they probably will call me that more now. Um, and that's not personal. Anyway, so I just want to clear that up that this is two different things and I hope that everybody can understand that. Um, I'm not sorry for making the video because I stand by it and I, you know, once I put it out there, I stand by that. I still think that he's a bit dodgy and the stuff that he told me last night, you know, um, confirmed some of what I was saying. Anyway. So, where do I go from here? Do do I do I delete the video? Is it worth? I mean, if I delete it, it kind of makes it look like I'm backing down or I've been bullied into it. I'd rather just leave it there. It's not it's not going to affect his um, subscribers. It's not going to affect his view count. And actually, from what he was saying last night, he was getting more views last night because people were going to go check his videos out. And my subscriber count is not going to affect his in any way. Any way. Um, I didn't post the video to get more views, although I did get a few more views on that video. But if I delete it, then those views are gone. Anyway, I'm rambling. People are not always what they seem on the internet, and that's the thing that I want to get through to you. People are suffering behind behind all that. Uh, and if Brad is genuine, then um, I have no r real reason to believe that he would make something like that up, because you know that would be that would be ridiculous. Anyway, so I spoke to Brad, and things were. were we were having a laugh last night anyway. Um, I hope that he books his ideas up with his videos and goes out and drafts like the rest of us. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video quickly before I go to work um, to let people know that um, things aren't always what they seem and yeah. But also people, people who are on the internet and um, do make videos and stuff. You have to understand that the, the hate that you get is hate of that internet person. It's not hate of you personally. Um, nobody, nobody that was commenting last night from Brad's camp uh, knew me or knew what I do for a living or where I live or uh, how many children I've got or anything or what 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 I've done on the toilet this morning. They don't know anything about me, so um, their comments were towards my video and that person in the video, not me actually in real life. Two, dif two different things. But anyway, I'm definitely going to leave it at that. Um, maybe uh, you might see me and Brad in a video one day. Um, Although, I will put it out there, Brad was keen to meet up and do a video. That may mean Brad is keen to meet up and stab me. So what I'll do is maybe <laughs> live stream me unlocking my car, getting out of my car, walking down to the canal and meeting Brad. Just so Brad doesn't get stabbed, you know, because if he's if he's if he's if he's not feeling uh, too happy in general, he might take me down with him, and that would make us like Biggie and Tupac. 